Hey guys, my name is Gabriel Fuentes, and now I'm going to be talking about the axe mechanic from Kratos on God of War. The axe is the main weapon of the player in the game. It can be thrown, it can be used to attack the enemies, and it can also be used to interact with the environment. The axe can be thrown in any direction, and the player can call it back at any time by pressing the triangle button, making it return to the player's hands in an easy and accessible way. The player can break boxes with the axe to find coins or other types of collectibles, while it can also destroy containers that explodes and can damage nearby enemies. The weapon is also used to interact with puzzles or different types of level mechanics that helps the player progress through the game. The axe can be thrown to an enemy into a surface, and it will stick to it until the player recalls the axe. If the axe doesn't hit anything, it will continue in movement indefinitely. The axe includes different types of attacks, like for example the light attack, which is a standard attack that deals some damage and allows a quick parry if needed. This is done by pressing R1. The heavy attack, which is a stronger attack that deals a lot more damage but leaves the player exposed for longer after performing it. This is done by pressing R2. The light throw, which is a throwing attack which causes the axe to bounce off the target. This is done by holding L2, moving the right stick to aim and pressing R1. The heavy throw, which is a throwing attack which causes the axe to stick into the target and freeze the target. This is done by holding L2, moving the right stick to aim, and pressing R2. As you can see here, the player can combine and change different types of attacks to implement combos, making the player have agency when fighting different enemies. Apart from all the normal attacks like the light and heavy, the player can also use different special abilities with the axe while holding L1 and pressing R1 or R2. These abilities can be customized and changed throughout the game. If the player decides to hold the L2 button and move the camera around an enemy, he can mark different locations on the enemies and he can then throw the axe, hitting multiple areas of an enemy at once. The axe can also stagger enemies in different ways, depending on where the player throws it. If the player throws the axe into the enemy's legs, this enemy will fall and it will be stunned for a few seconds. If it is thrown to the head or the body, the enemy will take more damage, and it will stay frozen in the same location for a few seconds, giving the player more chance to attack the enemies and to try new combos. If the player throws the axe and immediately recalls it back while the axe is in the flight back to the player, it can damage some of the enemies, being this a good lifesaver to the player for some of the battles. If the player decides to throw the axe in a location and then he goes far away, the axe will teleport within a certain distance to the player, instead of staying on the previous location. This makes the maximum recall time about 2 seconds, approximately no matter what. This also makes the axe never really be lost to the player. After throwing the axe, the player may notice a change in speed when calling the axe, depending on the distance the axe is. If the axe is close to the player, the axe will come fast, but it will still be visible to the player. However, if the distance is greater than 15 feet approximately, the speed of the axe returning back is increased so that the player doesn't have to wait a long time for the axe to arrive. What does it say? Lastly, in terms of sound and PFI, the axe has at least three different sounds to distinguish each step of the throwing process. It has one audio sound effect for when the player throws it, there's another for when it is in full flight and thus the player can distinguish what it is, and another one for when the player received the axe in his hand.